Bacteria are tiny living things, but they can survive in the most unlikely places. From the scorching heat of the hottest desert, to the sub-zero wastes of the polar regions, from the tops of the highest mountain peaks to the bottom of the deepest oceans. They're here in poisonous sulphur springs and hot volcanic geysers. Incredibly, bacteria have even been found living inside solid rock. But there are some places that bacteria and fungi particularly like to hang out. They especially like warm and wet places. An ideal place for bacteria and fungi to live is on the human body. Scientists have estimated that sometimes there are more microbes living on your hands than there are people living on the Earth. A good way of seeing these invisible beings is to grow them on agar gel. This gel contains blood, an excellent source of microbe food. Place a hand on it, cover it up and leave it in a warm incubator. 48 hours later and the warmth has encouraged the microbes to multiply. Eventually, there are so many microbes that they become visible. Each spot is made up of millions of microbes. Many microbes are living on your skin all the time. Uh. The question is, does washing remove them? And does using soap really make a difference? We've come to the Skin Research Centre at Leeds University to find out. Simon and Mikewan haven't washed their hands all morning. First, they touch a fresh agar plate with an unwashed hand. Then, they wash. Simon washes his hands with soap and water, while Mikewan just uses water. After drying with a paper towel, they each touch another agar plate. Now it's time for some expert help. Richard Bojar is a microbiologist. He puts the agar plates in a warm incubator for 48 hours. So what will the plates look like two days later? Normally, you wouldn't take the lid off. The concentration of microbes could be dangerous. But Richard has treated the plates and killed all the microorganisms. Which hand washing technique has removed the most microbes? Right then, you're the one who washed your hands with water, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a handprint before you washed your hands. And as you can see, there are microorganisms all over your fingers and your yeah. palm. Right, it's very and disgusting. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but look, when you wash your hands just with water, yeah. all you do is distribute the microorganisms on your hand. You don't get rid of them at all. All right. <laughs> Let's have a look at these. And then, Simon, you're the one who washed your hands with soap and water, aren't you? Yeah. Now, as you can see, before you washed your hands, you've got lots of microorganisms all over your hands as well. There's lots of them. There are, aren't there? But washing your hands with soap and water makes a, a big difference, doesn't it? There's still quite a lot on there, though, aren't there? There are quite a lot, but those are the, the bacteria that normally live on your skin. And it's perfectly natural to have those on your hands. 